YouTube, you see the screen. CFM action. We are in week seven. We had a bye week. We're three and two. Going into the middle part of the season with our Minnesota Vikings. Three and two. We had some training. We had some weeks to practice. I'll show you what we got. What we finally got, boys. CFM bye week, not eventful. We're three and two, tied for the division lead, as you see right there in the standings. We should win the division. We got some of the harder games out of the way. We're going to get our team better and better. And once we get another secure protector, hopefully we get some more pass rushing abilities. Maybe a short and elite will be cracked. Let's see if our weekly strategy can get it done. Bye week, big L's. I know, I'm sorry. Quez Watkins is nowhere near another ability, but we'll keep him going. Dotson might get upgraded here, and we still got Jedrick Willis. Jedrick Willis is the guy we hope can get Secure Protector soon. If I can get him with Secure Protector and Quentin Nelson with Secure Protector, that will lock down those two main under schemes with edge threats. Will be great. So we're gonna lock. We're gonna go ahead and get these guys right here. I like these as my focus players. These are my most important abilities, I think, or my, my, my important players to grow i get a pass rusher dotson we get our, our pass blocker soon as we get jedrick willis to secure protector which i think is one more xp then we'll change that focus player but right now we're going to keep it on jedrick willis and keep it on quez Watkins so quez can get short and elite and he can actually fry man coverage i don't want to trade for edge threat or anything like that we'll see what happens week six do we get any updates upgrade players do we get anything let's see kyler murray tim patrick Kyler Murray, it's pointless. He has every ability already. What are we going to do, right? Okay, throw. No, he's got break sack, throw under pressure. Okay, Kyler Murray's a beast. We're not too worried about him. Um, Tim Patrick. Now, what do I put on Tim Patrick, boys? What do you think? Everybody's going deep threat? I feel like you guys have no idea. Slot is what we put on to get short and elite. I'm picking slot. To hope to get speed is unrealistic. Short route, catching traffic awareness, big dubs. Who cares? The difference between 91 speed and 92 speed is not important. The difference with an ability would be. So Tim Patrick's now 84 overall. So, you know. Let's see where Jedrick Willis is. If he gets secure, that would be actually cracked for the boys. Yeah, look at his XP. So after, after he, will, he will have, I'm assuming, that we can get like a little bit of XP going into next week. So if we do our training next week, he should get secure protector with 85 pass protector. So we'll have two, secu we'll have two secure protectors next week. We will. Then we can take him off focus player. In fact, he might even get that much XP without being the focus player. We'll cross that bridge next week. We got to cook some abilities here. I don't even know what you do during the bye week. You know, you're pressing A. What do we do? Oh, interview? Coach, you're in the second place in your division and getting some time off this week with the team. Any special team time? Any special plans for the week? Stay grinding. Let's go. We need to be firing on all cylinders coming out of the bye, so we're sticking to the grind. I don't want these guys rusty or sluggish because of time off, and I keep thinking the routine will help. W. With no week off, your players were unable to recuperate. Minus seven stamina for all the... What? That's tough. I mean, that's tough. So we finally got it done. We finally got it done. We got secure protector on Jedrick Willis. So now we're going to have two secure protectors, Quentin Nelson and our boy right here, Jedrick Willis. We're able to get him superstar development, and we're able to get him that secure protector by moving him to guard. But a bunch of stuff we had to do, but he has secure protector. So now both of my tackles will have secure protector. That was one of our first goals when building this team. We traded our first round pick for Quentin Nelson. Then we actually put all our training, all our focus on a other tackle so he can get secured. That way, when I run into these guys that have the double edge threats like we did last week, we won't have to double team and slide protect and pray for our life and our safety in the pocket. We're gonna be able to just play our regular O-line and these secure protectors are gonna do work. Huge addition for the offense. Now I can focus on getting some receivers with some abilities or some DBs with abilities, something like that. So that's our next goal. But now we play the Denver Broncos. Let's see what they got. I really don't even know. Actually, this was one of the teams I was offered before I took the um, Minnesota Vikings was the Broncos. And I rather chose the, the uh, Minnesota Vikings, mostly because of Quez Watkins, I want to say. But they have Justin Fields. You see, he's going to be a beast, obviously. Running back, Brees Hall, who's probably a beast. That's a great running back to have at CFM. 
Michael Thomas, Devontae Parker, Tyron Johnson, Leo Brackens. Let's see. Leo Brackens was the rookie that we were going to draft, honestly. So we'll see if he has any good abilities. Nothing yet, so that's tough. But we were going to draft him. He was on our list of people we wanted to draft. Michael Thomas probably has a good a good route running ability, short in and short out. So Michael Thomas is going to be a beast to guard. Nobody else really has abilities for him yet. Uh, Conklin at tight end. Let's see if he has any route running abilities here. Nothing. Recuperation. So we got one wide receiver that's really going to go off and go crazy. Let's see if he has any old linemen that are going to be a problem for the boys. We'll see as we get into the game. We'll see. Let's see DBs. Anybody fast? Derwin James at cornerback. Does he have any abilities on Derwin James? One step ahead and deep route knockout. You know, of course, everybody has all these. Jamal Adams at DB again. He has one step or deep route knockout and inside shade. This is just awesome, right? Uh, Greg Newsom, no abilities. Doesn't look like Justin Reed. Does he also have one step ahead? Yeah, inside shade on Justin Reed. I, I got to figure out why my corners don't have abilities. Are they playing the wrong position? Can I change their position or something? Because you see... He literally put all safeties at cornerback, and somehow they have one step ahead. So everybody has one step ahead and inside shade and all that, that good stuff. So once again, we're going to play tons of man coverage. We're going to have to get it done. Kyler Murray might have to scramble, get out of there. We might have to get Joe Mixon involved, but we're going to get some pass protection. That was number one key in rebuilding this Minnesota Vikings team that I acquired from somebody that quit. So... When somebody quits, you know, things are looking rough, and we're already on the way to having a playoff-ready team. So let's get ready for Week 7, boys. If you guys are loving this CFM action, please let me know. Thinking about joining another CFM, I tossed around some ideas. Let me know if you guys like it and you guys are dialed into the CFM. But dial into this Week 7 matchup right now. Another road game. I feel like we've had, like, 14 road games in a row. Mile high. I've been to the stadium. It'd be dope if, like, there was more home field advantage and things like that in the, in the game. I don't know what they could do. It would probably piss me off. Oh, look, Richie Rich beating somebody 76 to 20. Nice. Good division over there. It looked like he was in Washington's playbook, so I expect a bunch of offset into. We really didn't have nobody fast, though. Like. There we go, boys. Way to be there. Way to be there. Way to be there. Oh my god, dude. It's like the run is so good on this mode, though. Come on, boys. I need to get some pressure here. Oh my god, dude. Just the one play. The one play we don't pinch our line. I'm I'm like I, I am so god handicapped right now. This is just miserable, man. Absolutely miserable, dude. I don't even know who Jacobs is why I'm returning this kick. <laughs> Time to get my life pressed away. I don't know what he did there. Quez? That's why you just have to have a quick snap in your option. Like you have to have an option to quick snap. You just have to. I need that tackled. I need that tackled. Like, I just can't cover any of these dudes, man. Oh my god. Just literally, like, just. I just feel like there's just no pressure. Like, it's just no rush. It's just. It's just. Oh my god. This is tough right now, man. we go there we go
There we go, William Jackson. Let's go, Willie. I'm just like so pissed. Like, God, you're so garbage, dude. Oh, yes. Need it. Let's go, man. Real baggy out there. Need it. What I like to see. Breakout game. Breakout game. Move! Derwin James can't cover him, man. God, dude. Like, what a terrible throw. Like, everything about that was just trash. Let's go, Tim Patrick. Come on, man. Uh, we just can't be getting pressed this nuts here, boys. We just can't. Mixing, that's why we got you, partner. Well, Mixon, stay in bounds, man. There's just no... F the same exact play, the same exact defense. That time, nah, dude, we ain't gonna let that go down. What do you think this is? I just, I just, I just, like, I hate running the ball in this game. I just absolutely hate it. Let's go, Mixon, way to be there. First of all... Firemuth beat this guy by seven yards, but because he's Firemuth, he's he caught up to him because he's Derwin James. That's why you put an angle route right behind the, the crossing route right there. That's why you do it, boys, right there. That's why you do it. I mean, he beat him he beat him like a drum and then just got caught up. Our leading receiver is Firemuth. Dude, I kind of I'm kind of liking how baggy we're getting out of the two man under. That's what the boys tell me. I mean, there's just no way you just like let that went down like that. There's just no way in hell. My Thomas fell down, so that was a good thing. My boy's getting pressure. Look at my boy's getting pressure. Do y'all see my boy's getting pressure right now? I mean, come on, boys. We can't be giving that up. I mean, God. Oh, tackle him. Oh, my God. There's just... Oh my god, y'all just got like oh my I hate like Oh my god. I mean they got beat by I just gotta press every play. You just have to press. Holy sh like that dude got left in the back of the end zone. That guy had no It's my fault, dude. Look, it's just dumb defense. Just stupid defense. Put everybody in the zone right there. There's no point in rushing a passer. God that was stupid, man. We shaded up. We literally shaded up so like we wouldn't get ran by right there. And what happened? Boop, boop, boop. I just had to guard God like Mike Thomas, bro. I just had to guard Mike Thomas, so I had no more. I just needed a yellow zone right there. So bad, man. And on top of that, if we just tackle that guy in bounds, the clock runs out. But we, but of course, we missed the tackles because we're freaking 32 overalls. There's just no way we can let this go. Huh? I mean, great blocking, guys. My Once again, my linemen just move out of the way. They, my linemen just move out of the way. To my guard, my tackle, or my whole side of the field just moved out of the way for him. 
Here you go, buddy. Just run in here and make a tackle on the running back here, bud. Somehow number 90 is right there. Can we block a DN, please? There we go. Now we can just run inside zone. Or we just can't. Jesus Christ, dude. So we keep going. All right. Got him out of dollar. Not baseline. If you don't baseline, okay. I'll play dollar. But you want a baseline? Yep, we're going to run the ball. That's what I like to see, Hunt. That's what I like to see, Hunt. That's what I like to see. I'm telling you, the pinch look, they just never, you just cannot, you can just never get by. You can't, you can't do the the pinch look, just don't work. I don't, I mean, he hasn't got hit, he's not even close to tired, but. You feel what I'm saying, boys? Like. Oh my God, man! Just, just, just any old, any old how, anyway, any how, anyway. Just piss me the f off, man. That's what I want to see. Just piss me off tonight. That's all I want to do. Just a, a flawless drive for what? For that to happen. Nice, dude. Nice. How is it we not get intentional grounding on that? Literally in the pocket and, and chucks the. I mean, Jesus Christ, dude. There's just no way we're getting beat. Like, oh my God. This is just absolutely miserable, man. It really is absolutely miserable. Dog, come on, man! I'm, I feel so helpless. I feel absolutely helpless on defense. Absolutely helpless. I feel absolutely positively helpless, dude. Just throw absolutely any pass. Absolutely any pass you have. Throw any single pass in the book. There, it's just you, there's no consequence. There's no knocking shit out. It's just you're just helpless. You can't cover a nosebleed. This sucks, man. This sucks. There's no way that dude made that play. There is no way that guy made that play. That guy made that play in that moment. I got bagged. Good catch, Fuller. Let's go, man. I just didn't take the read when I had it. Damn, almost cost me. Fuller, another play where Fuller just is covered, just doesn't get in, just catches the ball. Big play by Fuller. It was a good catch, though. It was a good catch. I'm just relying way too much on Tim Patrick right here. Like, way too much on him. Dude. No, luckily it looks like we have the wind at our back here. 
I need to put Snead in the slot. I need to honestly put him in the slot too because I can't cover I can't cover Michael Thomas no matter who it is. So I need I can I gotta kind of double team Michael Thomas so I can almost put a bad player on Michael Thomas because I know I can't cover him regardless, right? Perfect adjustment. Oh, the Snead is all as the why that's why we did it. That's why we did it. How is this this open? Like, how is, like, bro, you're in the middle of the field. There's just no way that should be that open. Dog, like, there's just no way. I just can't cover a streak to the tight end. Sneed can't cover a streak to the tight end. He don't have a timeout. Why would he take a knee? What a idiot. Just, oh, I, I, I'm going to milk the rest of the clock. Wow. See? These are the people I can't stop. Literally, these are the people I can't stop in CFM. Love playing it. Love playing it. These are the people I can't stop in CFM. Right here. These guys. Love playing CFM. Just love it. See what happens when you don't have a team with superstars. Yeah, I can't stop people like this. You're right. Has the IQ of a rock. He should have just kicked the field goal. I, I, I actually messed up because he probably wouldn't have been iced. No, I it, I couldn't stop the clock. I had I had to wait. It was over. The game was over. I couldn't all the way stop the clock, honestly. Let's go, man. Bro, I hate evasive. I need to take that off. That's trash. So the clock is a thing, so I can milk the clock on this and just kick a three? And I never have to give him the ball? Move! Oh, we're on, we're on, we're on. Oh, hold on, wait. We're on, what you call it? We're on uh, aggressive. I should just milk this game out, really. A touchdown ends it? Um, I don't know the god rules. God, it. I'm sorry. Who knows the rules of overtimes and ties and shit, dude? I, I, good blocking, boys. At good effort. Good effort. Who's the jerk off? Me for calling running plays. Oh my God. I'm sorry. I didn't know the rules of regular season overtime. I'm sorry, boys. This guy didn't know how many timeouts he had. How are what we, me, and him do the same thing? All right. What do I look like? The guy encyclopedia of, of NFL and overtime rules in regular season? Like, come on, dude. In fairness, as I pause the game, in fairness, you stupid. Suckers. I've been playing Madden all year, and what has the rule been in Madden? We have been playing Madden all year. What has the rule been in the regular Madden games we play all god year? I rest my case. Stupid it's in the chat. All year. It hasn't been score and win. There you go. Will Fuller. Clutch God. I'm supposed to know the rules now that it's CFM. I'm supposed to know the rules. I'm the most negative streamer you've ever watched. Wow, you gotta get out in life, buddy. Just a little bit. Go meet some people. GG's. What a game. What an epic game. I should know the rules that aren't Madden rules. They're literally not Madden rules. Literally not. It's just not how, uh, not Madden. Literally just not Madden. I don't know. I mean, dude, we just can't stop a streak in two man under. We just literally cannot stop just a streak in two man under. I don't know how my quarter out here is just this. We're not on. See, we're not. We're in the middle of the field. A streak should not run you off this absurdly, 37. There's no way you're getting ran off this bad in zone. I mean, I guess you have 45 zone. It's just no way. Then Sneed. Just zero press right here. Like, what? It's just no way. It's just no way. I mean, truth be told, if we don't fumble, we just win the game easily, man. We really do, but we just, like, fumble, so got to make it tough, right? Let's see the coverage on this Will Conklin TD here, number 37. Thanks for tr thanks for trying, buddy. Then why not miss the tackle, too? God, an idiot. Everybody I play in this mode is an idiot, dude. Spin move. Let's go. Abilities. We're getting rid of evasive. I need something else. Tank. That's what I need, but nobody even goes for... Strips in this mode. I guess we should get Bruiser. 